What's up, y'all? This is your girl, Miss Maggie T, with Sutri Seconds. Um, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button so you won't miss another post from me. But this is a segment of my Ask Miss Maggie T. And I got an anonymous question from someone that I truly dear and love. Um, and the question is, is sex any indicator between two people on a different level besides just sex? That's a good question. And honestly, it depends on the partners that we're referring to. Now, if you get it with somebody and your basis of your conversation is just sex. And of course, you go out for dinner and dates and that's the main topic. Oh, yeah. All it's going to be is just a physical form of things because the person is only wanting to get with you because of what you are discussing in the beginning. Nothing is wrong with that. If that's the relationship you establish with that partner, hey, it's nothing, you know, as far as a relationship, people do have friends with benefits. I'm not knocking any of that. I've been there and done that. You know, this is an adult conversation about what sex can truly mean to somebody, um, you know, depending on what's happening in that situation. So, yes, if it's a friends with benefits situation, you guys already knew what this date was about. Okay, sometimes you can have a wonderful time with somebody, but how long can you keep that up? You know, just friends with benefits. We're all human here and feelings get involved. And then when feelings get involved, one of the parties wants more, the other party doesn't. Or you try to force it into a relationship and you don't even know the basis of the person itself. Um, now you're trying to build off of something after you've already kind of done to do. You get So it's kind of reversing itself. Now, if you establish that in the beginning, okay. And it's just like, all right, you come to that crossroad when it happens, when those feelings start getting involved. Some people's feelings are hurt because of that, because you can't help human nature. You really can't. And you can't help a chemistry when your body swaps energies, you know, and that's the problem. People just think about sticking and moving, but you don't realize you're sharing your energy with every last being that you're putting yourself in involved in men women as soon as somebody enters into you especially raw or none you're exchanging that energy with somebody and you know yeah you might have multiple partners but guess what one partner might make you feel bad you might go into the next partner and you know it's just a bad energy all around that's where all the anger comes in at because now you got that sexual connection and not necessarily the mental connection and the physical you know the you know where it can develop into something more you know so let's flip it around to the couple that actually wasn't led by sex alone they came into it just where you just basis of a conversation and I've experienced that with my own husband it wasn't based on sex it was definitely based on conversation getting to know that character before we even jumped into it you know and so we already established the fact that hey you know what I'm on guard you're on guard but we both like to be in relationships we want commitment when you go into it like that and everything is on the table and you're not even pressuring it with the sexual act not knocking anybody that does it the first night (laughs) I've been there trust and believe I'm definitely not perfect we're all human once again But if you base your relationship off of sex, that's all it's going to be. And at the end of the day, you don't get any type of fulfillment. So you must first go into it with an adult mind, people, and understand what you're getting yourself into when you involve yourself with somebody, especially if you're saying, hey, I want to be in a relationship with this person. Does that person want to be in a relationship with you? That's the first question. So let's not rush it. Jump and don't jump into anything and force it because that's what happens when you're going a little too fast you got to let things develop naturally if this person is truly your soulmate your chemistry all that good stuff you're going to feel that instant from day one and i experienced that with mine it was just love at first sight but very cautious because i was guarded from previous relationships and trauma that i have had yet to deal with until up until this present day so when you go into relationships with baggage You involve sex from the beginning. Oh, you're setting yourself up for disaster. But there's nothing wrong with sex early, as long as you go into it right. But if you get with somebody you're really, truly trying to feel, you're not going to rush into it right away. But when that experience happened, you're attentive to the person. You're not rushing it. 
Um, and a lot of times foreplay does not start in the bedroom. A lot of people don't realize that. And it's appalling that a lot of women haven't experienced real life orgasms. You can fake it to make it all day long, but are you getting fulfilled? Sex can be a stress reliever if done correctly and with the right person and even with yourself. Self a love is beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. It's nothing taboo about this topic. People run away from it like it's nasty. It, you can be very nasty with your, your partner, yes, but that's between your bedroom and what happens in there. Not everybody even need to know what's going behind closed doors. It's none of your business, basically. But the chemistry you can share with somebody, even beginning to touch, is somebody can stimulate your mind mentally, emotionally, um, spiritually. That's somebody you want to hold on to because they're going to be attentive to what makes you tick as well as you explore your own body so you know exactly what you need out of a person and you can tell them you can guide them that's how you have amazing sex and full body orgasms i call myself um uh, multi-orgasmic and i can go more and more and more and more depending on how i feel and how tired i am and it's amazing leveling experience. And a lot of people haven't experienced that. So I can be that sex expert for you. Expert, excuse me. If you, you know, just want to take a look at my shows. And I'll bring a lot of topics like this where I can answer some things appropriately. Okay. So please look into the proper way to have sex. Explore yourself and just protect yourself and be careful. I identify as bisexual and, you know, everyone kind of knows that just a little bit. I'm very full aware of my sexuality and that's something that people are not. Identify what you like, your preferences and go with that. Don't let nobody tell you who and what you should be liking. You know what you like and you know what you need. Learn it. Okay. Until the next time, this is Ms. Maggie T. Just answering a little bit of that question, but... Nothing wrong with having that chemistry with somebody because they don't even got to touch you to get you there. And if you ain't experienced that type of chemistry and spirituality, you're missing something. So please stop going down there trying to stick and move. If that's what you're doing, hey. But in the end of the day, it gets old after a while. You're going to want somebody you can cuddle up with and have a wonderful conversation right after if you're not asleep or right before you lead to a wonderful love making session there's nothing wrong with that and it's beautiful when two people are into it at the same time on the same levels and you reach a higher level of some type of energy that just is unheard of a lot of people haven't experienced look it up and do your research people but i'm out people that's all i got for you peace